Welcome back to ERA TV, the show where we have a little fun with the movers and shakers of the direct response business. I'm Craig Burnett with Steve Feinberg from SF Video. How are you, Steve? I'm very well, thank you. How Somebody you? just told me you were the chair elect of the ERA. Yes, I am. What does that mean exactly? That means that I am next year's chairman. I was last year's treasurer, yeah. and I am a uh, big supporter of ERA, so have been volunteering and uh, trying to do more for our organization. Excellent. Now, do they actually give you a chair? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no? No. Well, they ought to, somebody ought to get on that. Dave Martin, get on. Get him a chair. <laughs> now, Steve, tell me what you do in your real job. You're with SF Video. What do what do you what does your company do? Yeah. SF Video is a 20-year-old company, and we uh, originally were a CD and DVD manufacturer and have grown our services uh, really worldwide to offer uh, uh, printing, packaging, solutions, uh, novelties, kitting, assembly. Ooh. And so uh, we want to build a, a, a full product uh, for clients. Now, that's interesting. What are the, some of the challenges of working globally. Do you guys have like a credit account at Rosetta Stone or something? Do you have to learn all the languages or do you have folks that speak the languages that you? Uh, well, first we're trying to get the Rosetta Stone account. <laughs> oh, perfect. And then we won't need to buy as many languages. No, <laughs> you know, well, we're very spoiled. Uh, the world speaks English quite well. Um, although I did just buy the Rosetta Stone Mandarin. Oh. And then, and then going to endeavor to start, start learning a little bit. Have you learned anything that you can enlighten us with? Like any? Uh, no, no, I cannot. Not yet. It's probably best, really. Yes, I think so. So now you have have been in this business for 20 years. You've seen a tremendous change, as we all have, in all in the ways we do business and the ways we reach out to our consumers. Um, it, will there always be a need for something physical that the consumer can hold when they when they order a DVD set of something? Will there? Sure. Is that is there value to that? Sure. I, I think some people do like uh, physical products still. Mm -hmm. So while there are, you know, people have their Kindle and they download a book, uh, there's still people who like to buy a book. I think the retail environment is going to change drastically, which is why I think that the DR industry is so great mm -hmm. because well, we're good at giving them both options. So do you want to download or do you want the physical? Do you want both? Um, and so that's, we feel, uh, the, the, a great direction to go in. Mm -hmm. I, I... What do you think has been the biggest uh, change in DR in the last 20 years? I think the biggest change is this idea of building a brand. And so it's not just mm -hmm. one product in a box and we never talk to the customer again. Uh, now we, we, we got involved with continuity and now we want a brand because we want to sell them other products. We want them to become part of our our online or our on TV community, and we want to sell them many things. So what we've enjoyed is, is being able to help our clients consult with them to build a, a product that has a high perceived value when it arrives on the door. Sure. So when you open it up, it says your brand very well. It's not just an item tossed into a cardboard box. Sure. Now, are there still some items that are being sold out there that really are just kind of a one-off thing, that there really isn't a way you could build that into other things? I'm sure, I'm sure there are. SF Video is really looking to partner with marketing companies, okay. not one product companies. Um, we, we feel we add value in helping cust our customers, our clients, build their brand, mm -hmm. in helping them to have a higher perceived value for their product for their customer. Sure. And so while the one-off guys come by and we, and we welcome the work, I think the direction and the change is this idea of be building a brand. I mean, look at Guthy Ranker, you know, product brought sure. to you by Guthy Ranker. Absolutely. And so I just think that's a huge change. What are, um, what in the last time we talked, we talked about uh, SF Video's dedication to green initiatives and, yes. and, and really kind of uh, paying more attention to being earth friendly with the products and things. Yes. Talk about a little about what you've been doing in that front. Yeah, there's a couple of things. We have a disc and it's called the Echo Disc. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's unique about the Echo Disc is it uses 50% less plastic and it has no bonding material. And so it is 52% less carbon footprint than, uh, than the regular disc. 
And on the packaging side, we're using FSC paper or we're using recycled paper, mm -hmm. uh, soy inks. And uh, the latest addition to the, to the package is this um, uh, uh, tray. Instead of a plastic tray, it's a tray that starts out with a potato starch. Oh. And so you get the physicality and the depth of a, of a, of a regular plastic DVD case or a jewel case or, you know, it feels substantial. But the product is fully 100% biodegradable and it's made from sustainable uh, materials. Plus so. it's great with ranch dip, I'm guessing. <laughs> we are hoping it doesn't biodegrade that quickly, but the dip does go well, yeah. Now, one question I have, and, and this, this has just irritated me since the dawn of time okay. in digital media. Why, why did they make it so you can't make one DVD that plays everywhere? And it, the only DVDs that play everywhere are the replicated DVDs. Is that ever going to change? Are they ever going to get their stuff together with that? It seems like when I burn one yeah, thing... Yeah, so it's not so much the DVD, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the format, right? There's PAL, there's CCAM, there's NTSC. And uh, different countries adopted different No, I mean formats. just across town. I, would, I sent my DVDs to my clients and they said, well, we can't play this. Oh, it turns well, into we a... can help you out with that, <laughs> just that issue. Of course. Issue. Um, you know, that's something that's decided in the authoring process. Okay. Um, but burn DVDs don't really transport very well. Right. Uh, where we replicate it, we actually form it from the plastic pellets. Then the process is, it's different, it's more technical, yeah. and it's a higher quality, and so it, it transfers well. What are some of the, uh, the last question I have for you is, what are some of the great objects de art that you've made from spoiled blanks? Oh, every year we have a day after Thanksgiving party, and we bring lots of uh, discarded discs, and the kids make all kinds of things. Oh, that's uh, a great I mean, idea. Yeah, yeah, we've had houses and uh, jewelry and earrings and hats. So now, see, I, that was a throwaway question. I really didn't expect that that, that, that you actually did something with them. Yeah. So that's oh, no. that's we, a good thing. We recycle, we reuse, uh, and try and reduce material. That's excellent, Steve. Thanks for joining us today. That was a pleasure. And thank you for watching Yara TV. I'm Craig Burnett. We'll see you next time.